Norfolk Tides were up and down last season in terms of wins and losses, but we know at the AAA, le AAA level, it's not always about that. Development is the primary focus, and they were, they were consistently plucked for talent by the Orioles throughout the season. A good sign for a franchise that seems to be on the rise. Nathan Epstein was at Harbor Park today for Media Day and has more. Baseball fans here at Hampton Roads are in for a treat because for the second straight season, the Tides are going to feature one of the most talented rosters in all of minor league baseball. In fact, as an organization, the Orioles feature eight of the top 100 prospects. Six of those prospects are going to play right here at Harbor Park. It's an exciting time. It's always nice. I think the, the, there's expectations for these guys to develop and play well, which is uh, it's nice. It's nice to have that. And it all starts with Grayson Rodriguez. The big six foot five righty is ranked the seventh overall prospect and the second best pitcher in the minors. His season last year was cut short because of a strain in his back, but he's focused on one thing this year. Definitely to be in the big leagues. Um, that was something coming out of the spring um, that I was pretty set on. I'm um, really just doing whatever I can to get there. It's just a matter of time before he gets this opportunity, and uh, we'll, en we'll enjoy him while we have him. Ryan Mountcastle, Adley Rutschman, and still the top prospect in baseball, Gunnar Henderson, all wore Tides uniforms in recent years. They're now all with the O's. Uh, them having success up there is just a testament of what, what we're doing and what we're doing as an org, and I think that it's going to continue to get better and um, you know, continue for those guys to have success, and it, it's just kind of a motivator, I guess you could say. Colton Kalzer, drafted with the fifth pick in the first round two years ago, is another one of those big-time talents, along with infielder Jordan Westberg, who says there's noticeable momentum with the O's organization. You can feel it. You know, there's, A couple years ago, we were, you're in a position where um, you might get a shot purely just because there's nobody else up there. Now it's um, if you're not going to immediately help the that that big league club win a, a ball game, um, you know, you probably won't get your shot. So it's ex, you know it's exciting. It pushes us as young players. It's a Tides roster with the most top prospects in 15 years, and it takes the field for the first time tomorrow in Durham. Home opener at Harbor Park set for next Tuesday in Norfolk.